Good morning. Once again, I am starting my day off at Starbucks because I enjoy the environment. It really is my place of peace when I just need to clear my head and get some work done. I finally decided to block out some time today to go and shop at Decal Farmers Market in Decatur, Georgia. It is one of the best international farmers market in Georgia and comes highly recommended by a lot of you guys who are from Georgia. I used to shop here a few years ago, but I got overwhelmed because every time I would come, it would be extremely packed, especially prior to 2020. So now that I'm here, I will be purchasing items that are not typically available in my local grocery stores, such as watercress, spinach and pineapples in bulk, and quality sized melons and pomegranates. Some items in my local grocery stores are just overpriced and undersized. I don't really know if that's a thing, but it is now. So now that my kitchen is all beautiful and stocked up, it is now time to start prepping for my juices. So take a look at this. So we're back, we're back, we're back with another update. I'm super excited about this because the last time we spoke, you know, I was going through an emotional roller coaster. You know, I still was like kind of recovering from the bloat. And as of today, I am no longer suffering from the bloating. So I was able to kind of um, scale back a little bit and only stick with fruits and vegetables, especially the ones that are high in water content. So that has been working out great. Just over the past two days, I have. I've been incorporating like agrula salads um also kind of bringing in the avocado again but just a little bit and also almonds so i've been eating like four almonds a day and it's been working fine on my stomach so that has been amazing because i feel like now my body is trying to get you know accustomed to taking in um whole foods that are not necessarily high in water content so all of that is going so great so amazing now with the emotional roller coaster ride that is still the same now thank you guys for all of your feedback i just want to say that just to basically sum it up based on the feedback i got just taking it a day at a time the idea of doing it forever gets to me you know what i mean with the 90 day juice fast of course i pushed through and i'm not making light of it because that was like that was a challenge like it took a lot of commitment a lot of dedication to that process to that journey however i knew that it would end one day i knew when it was going to end and to go on a raw diet it's like never ending so it's like can i commit to something like that so you know still i battle with that i'm not 100 percent confident that i could do it and the um unfortunate part about my juice fast journey is that i didn't start vlogging it until like day 35 and i know you know by that time a lot of you guys didn't really get to see the ugly emotions in that moment and i for will forever regret that because i didn't think i was going to make it past 30 days so i didn't record it at all but if i would have known better even if i would have failed i wish i would have still vlogged it so that you guys could see you know what i mean even for those who fail so that was the unfortunate part so when it comes to this raw journey that i'm trying to embark on I'm starting to feel those same emotions that I felt about my juice fast as far as not feeling like I could do it. So I'm excited for you guys to see me go through it starting at day one. Like this is so important for me like to be able to share this with you because your girl is scared and I'm not that confident <laughs> that I could do it. So the unfortunate part about it is a lot of people don't share the ugly side of it as far as like when it comes to their vitamins minerals and all of that and i just don't like that because i feel like it creates this idea that oh it's a breeze you don't have any problems and i just feel like anything you do that's new it will come with problems like you will have to get your body and your mind and your lifestyle adjusted to that change um, and and that's not gonna be pretty so I, I kind of want more of that to see what that looks like but I'm not really getting that on YouTube so you know again I'm my own example and I will be sharing the ugly side of it so far so good just really taking it easy and just trying to uh, structure my lifestyle in a way that complements what I'm trying to do 
for my future um it is very difficult though because i feel like it kind of prevents me from having that type of social life with like friends and stuff like that i don't drink anymore so it you know even with friends when they're drinking i'm not drinking with them or if they're like eating something so, you know it's kind of difficult when you can't participate but you're like still traveling with your juices as if you're still on a juice fast let me tell y'all like i am still literally juicing on the go as if i'm on a juice fast like i when i tell you i have not broken that habit of juicing on the go i have not broken the habit it, it's crazy it's insane to me but at the same time like sometimes i sit back and think like wow like you are really sticking to this habit like i was waiting for that day to come where i no longer had to do that like i'm tired of juicing i'm tired of juicing in bulk i'm tired of scheduling my day around it i'm exhausted i'm just ready to juice whenever i want to which i do but i am so stuck in this oh my god so stuck in this cycle that i literally still get up every morning and juice i still juice in bulk every freaking night like it's crazy and it's like bittersweet like it's like Whitney okay you may need to come out of it a little bit I think it's a little bizarre to still be juicing six liters a day I am trying to get to the point where I'm only juicing a gallon and when I get to that point I think I'll be a little bit more content you know with my my process but right now I just feel like I'm a little insane with it i see some of you guys in the comments are already on a raw vegan diet as a lifestyle and that is amazing because i know a lot of people may think being on that 90 day juice fast was difficult but when you know something is going to end it makes you feel better you can like kind of push through when you are embarking on a journey as a lifestyle change like permanently you know it may get to you it will get to you because it is getting to me it is kicking my tail however i do know that this is something that i really really want to do so i'm not going to say high raw because that's just not what i'm feeling in my soul and my spirit it's telling me i need to go all raw and if i fall on my face and if it doesn't work out that's fine but i can sleep better at night knowing that i tried and it didn't work out versus me not trying and like basically going against my intuition because i feel like any feeling that you have within that kind of overpowers your mind and your emotions i feel like it's it's your intuition telling you like hey you need to do something and if you don't act on it you will always grow to like regret it and have so much resentment you know what i mean so i'm i'm not trying to be that person i am trying to be you know aligned and in tune with what that inner voice is telling me and that's what i'm going to do now when it comes to vitamins and minerals i do want to highlight the fact that i still go to iv therapy um because i want to make sure i am getting the vitamins and minerals that i need especially in this refeeding process i did do it during my juice fast but now more than ever i am really you know diving in with the um, vitamins and minerals i do not want to lack on that so i am getting selenium vitamin c um iodine iron i'm getting all of that good stuff because i want to make sure that that my body is getting what it needs not saying that you know i feel like i was lacking anything because the only thing that i've been lacking on this juice fast was vitamin d everything else has been great like i haven't had any health issues because of the 90 day juice fast i will say i do believe i was extremely backed up because now that i'm eating fruit more i'm starting to like go through this like flood and i don't want to go into details but you guys know what i mean so i do feel like i was backed up so i guess by me not acting on that constipation stage of me thinking that i had nothing to release and not really viewing it as something that i need to you know act on i feel like that's what caused me to have to uh go through what i'm going through now i mean it's not bad it's not causing any problems it's just an overflow of everything just like coming out and it's a great feeling though because i feel like my body is still in that detox releasing mode which is amazing i'm all for it but yeah that's what i'm currently going through now so just taking in all of these vitamins and minerals and all of that good stuff makes me feel great because keep in mind the week of christmas i think christmas is on a sunday but that monday prior i am going to be doing a seven day juice fast and i want you guys to come along with me so up until then i just want to make sure that i get everything i need in my body to be able to just dive back into that seven day juice fast but keep in mind i would not be doing another prolonged juice fast anytime soon 
I will only be doing short term juice fast like seven days maybe 14 days at the most but I probably won't do another prolonged juice fast for one I think I need a longer period of time of refeeding that's extremely necessary for me and also I don't think it's necessary right now because I've benefited so much from that 90 day juice fast and I'm still benefiting from it so I don't think it's necessary for me to do it right now um, or anytime soon maybe short ones but prolonged I don't think my body's ready for it but I will always be here to support you guys through your journey and um, also I want you guys to join me when I do my seven day juice fasts I don't care if you are already on a, a juice fast and it's been like two months or maybe one month or three days whatever it is we can all jump in on it together you know the days for us may be different however in real time we are still juicing on this day on the next day on the next day so it doesn't matter what day you're on it's just what really matters is going through it together because i absolutely love this community i have built i don't think you guys understand like how much i talk about you <laughs> i talk about you so frequently like you guys show so much love like it it really brings me to tears sometimes like how much love and support you guys give and it really motivates me to continue to live a healthier lifestyle especially after you know ending my juice fast because i feel like that's just an open window to like dive back into what you were doing before and i don't want to do that i want to make a permanent change like 90 days is a long time to backtrack like i'm not trying to backtrack so you know just staying consistent staying you know um mindful of everything that i'm putting in my mouth and even mindful of like my thoughts and and things that i'm doing because it's really about building a health system like a healthy system like mentally physically emotionally spiritually it's it's really about all of that and that's what i'm trying to uh keep up with and make sure that all parts are healthy so that i am overall healthy and i want to be able to give that back to you as well because i know a lot of you guys are healing and if you're not healing you're just trying to live a healthier lifestyle whatever your why is as to why you're interested in juice fasting i am here to support i want to give you all of that and more and it, it, it's very important for me to do so so i hope you guys really take this time and soak up all of the information listen to my feedback because i don't want you guys to think that um i'm over here saying everything is perfect it is not perfect so when you have those down moments i want you to really sit and tell yourself like hey this is this is something i have to go through like don't give up don't give up like I, I don't want you to give up and and that's the message for today to never give up never stop trying never stop pushing forward never you know call a quits like no just just bang it out unless you have medical issues or you go to the doctor and they say hey this juice fast is like not benefiting you then yeah i would say back up however if you're not having any problems and it's just a typical detox symptoms please 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 like just stay on the path like you will love yourself later for that i do want to dive into my cravings i love my social life now because i, I get to get out more but to be honest i feel like i could have done it sooner because I don't have temptation to want to eat now don't get me wrong I love the way the food smells like it is like <laughs> it smells amazing but when it comes to like wanting to put it in my mouth I don't have that desire so like I do not crave half of the things that I used to crave before you know I started I even attempted like to put something in my face once um some junk food and I was just like wow like I'm, I don't even have a desire to eat it and that's the number one benefit and I don't think people talk about that part but it really breaks your because it only takes I think 25 to 30 days to break a habit please fact check me on that but imagine going 90 days like that was something that I never thought about and even when I got off my juice fast I thought that I would want to you know go into eating junk food and all of that no I did not have the desire to do it yes I appreciated the smell because it was amazing like the smell of cooked food being around it it smells amazing but the desire to want to put it in my mouth I don't I don't I know I don't have that desire at all so that was the number one and still is the number one benefit that I love because that's unmatched like to be able to control what you put in your mouth is like better than anything else like I love my clear skin and all of that but being able to build like discipline through this process is 
unmatched like it's, it's, it's like no other and I and I truly appreciate my dedication and myself for being able to push through and get to this point where I'm at today so if I could do it all over again some of the things that I would change about my journey would be I probably would have incorporated a wide variety of fruits and vegetables I think I got so stuck in my habit of just wanting to drink certain uh, fruit juices and vegetable juices that I did not include a variety of them because I really was doing it for taste because I wanted to get through it and I felt like for me to get through it I have to enjoy the juice now the go green juice don't get me wrong it was not my favorite but I was doing it for vitamins and minerals um, however that could have been an opportunity for me to include more uh, you know a wide variety of vegetables like agrula like it was so many watercress I was not juicing watercress like that it was just so much I could have done to kind of capitalize on that moment of drinking the go green that I didn't I kind of stuck with my typical cilantro parsley kale um, baby spinach um, whatever the case may be when I should have been you know including more you know collars green and red peppers like it was just my opportunity to really dive into it and I didn't so that's one thing I regret which is why I'm diving into it now I should have incorporated more even when it came to the fruits I was not juicing pomegranates it's like now I'm overloading my body with pomegranates because I was not taking in any pomegranates during my juice fast and I actually love pomegranates but I think the reason why I wasn't was because of the budget um it's one thing to be able to eat pomegranates but it's another when you're juicing it because it does not produce that much juice so I believe I wasn't doing it I like to think <laughs> that I wasn't juicing it because of the budget part of it like I just felt like I wasn't getting a bang for my bug you know buying pomegranates also I did not oh my god I hate this I did not include anything from the berries family in my juices which freaking sucks now I am so I did not have the blueberries the strawberries the you know raspberries the blackberries I didn't juice any of the berries which is insane to me I'm now taking in a lot of berries which is why I just ate a big bowl of blueberries so a lot of the fruits that I'm taking in right now are fruits that I did not juice during my juice fast so i'm taking in a lot of berries right now because i did not have that i'm taking in a lot of pomegranates right now because i didn't have that so you know that's something that i do regret that i i wish i would have juiced more of those things because it wasn't like i didn't have to buy them for my daughter i just felt like all the raw foods that i was buying for her that she was eating i wasn't juicing and everything that i juiced she wasn't really eating i think the only thing that she ate that i was juicing was watermelon like she didn't touch my honey do melon my cantaloupes my cucumbers uh, yeah she didn't touch my cucumbers she had carrots but I wasn't juicing carrots like that so that was another thing too I'm not a fan of carrots I'm not even gonna lie so I probably I wouldn't say I regret that because I'm not a fan of carrots and I'm not a fan of celery so those are two things I intentionally left out um because I'm not a fan but everything else I wish I would have done that a little bit different and I wish I would have included you know a wide variety of fruits and vegetables and not just set those limitations as far as like just only sticking with certain fruits and vegetables and initially it was because of the budget but it was times where I could have purchased you know those things and juice them and it not affect my budget so that's the number one thing that I do regret also turmeric and beets now turmeric I could have included more of that in like my orange juices and also my carrot juices when I would juice carrots which was not frequently but turmeric is something that I wish I would have included more of now as you guys know I was on it with the ginger but the turmeric I wasn't also the beets I was not juicing beets like that now I wouldn't say I don't like beets it's just that I have to have a taste for it however I could have tolerated it so I should have you know juice more beets that was something else that I just didn't do what I wish I would have done I know I already said this but I have to highlight the watercress I'm such a fan of watercress it just sucks because watercress is only at one farmers market near me and that farmers market is about 30 minutes away um, and so it was difficult for me to like keep up with the watercress but I wish I would have dedicated like a day where I would go over there to get my fruits and vegetables because watercress I'm taking in so much watercress right now but that's something that I wish I would have I'm um, taking more of because watercress have so many benefits like it's so beneficial for the body it's just 
it's amazing so I'm, I'm taking in more you know watercress now but I wasn't before so there are some things to come you guys know I am coming with the tea coming with the support I hear you guys all the time every day all day I'm listening and I am trying to provide that support you guys need so please be on the lookout I will be building a community for you guys so for everyone who is struggling to try to uh, stay on their juice fast or need just a little bit more support and accountability partner I am working to build that platform for you so by our next video you should be hearing more about that but I created a 90 day recipe list just for you guys day by day that will allow you to take in the amount of juice that you need daily to make it through that 90 day juice fast so please be on the lookout for that as well but all the details will be provided in my next video I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of what to expect in the future because I do listen and I want to provide that community for you and I also want to provide you with a detailed recipe list day by day for 90 freaking days let me tell you it gets no better than that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and what? Subscribe. And if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so glad to have you here. So I guess I'll see you guys in my next video.